no negative feedback so in positive feedback i was adding my the mix uh, the mixing circuit will add the signals so which means that the signals are in phase but here the other case the signals are out of phase so the mixer circuit will subtract the signals vi equal to vs minus vf see the positive feedback vi equal to vs plus vf right so here you see negative feedback the negative indicates the in the mixer circuit will perform subtraction it will subtract the voltage coming from signal source and the voltage coming from the feedback why cannot this be vf minus vs should it be vs minus vf or vf minus vs why we have taken vs minus vf here if we take other way is it wrong or what is the justification for that can anybody say why we have taken vs minus vf and not vf minus vs what is the reason what is the reason see the feedback voltage is very very small in number so the feedback network is going to take a portion of output and it is going to proportionately reduce v not into vf and vf is very very small when compared to v not so when you compare vs and vf vf is very very small compared to vf that's why we take vs minus vf so remember that is a logic for subtracting vs uh, minus vf we are subtracting vf from vs so vs is a larger quantity compared to vf because the feedback voltage or the feedback current whatever is coming out of the feedback network is very very smaller in magnitude when compared to the input voltage vs so the input to the amplifier is uh, decreased because you see is subtraction when you subtract two quantities the value gets reducing right so vi is less so if vi is less the v not is also less if v not is less the gain is also less so logically amplifiers having negative feedback they will have reduced the gain because the input to the amplifier is subtracted and the input is reduced the output is also reduced output by input gain is also reduced so see here as a result of the subtracting nature of the inputs the voltage gain of the amplifier is reduced this type of amplifier is called as negative feedback or degenerative feedback negative because the subtraction is negative degenerative means it, it leads to reduction in gain when when will you use the term degenerative when something is reducing or when something the value is degrading right so here the gain voltage gain is getting reduced right so it is called as degenerative feedback so same way how did we do find out the gain for positive feedback amplifier now we are going to do the gain calculation for negative feedback amplifier so same way af is equal to v not by vs for vs i'll be going to this equation vs equal to vi plus vf now you see same thing we are doing how did we do for positive feedback same thing for negative feedback we are doing so vs equal to vi plus vf if you uh, rearrange the terms that signal uh, here you get vi plus vf same way divide the numerator and denominator by v not divide the numerator and denominator by v not so v not by v not is 1 vi by v not is same by 1 by a plus vf by v not is beta so if you take lcm you get a by 1 plus a beta previously a by 1 minus a beta that is the only difference otherwise everything is going to be same you have the feedback the gain with feedback af is given by a by 1 plus a beta in the fraction you see the denominator is having plus sign so this value will be larger so the af value will be smaller so when when you have a negative feedback the gain after feedback will be very very less when compared to capital a capital a is the gain without feedback okay here you see this reverse mod af is always less than a because of this plus sign in the denominator the value of the gain with feedback will be on capital a so if a beta is very much larger then 1 plus a beta can be approximated to a beta so it is a by a beta a will get cancelled you can approximately write af is approximately 1 by beta